to today's episode of the program's progress. My name is New Song Abraham. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching the last episode. And if you have not watched it, you can see it on Gloria Fulasha Facebook. You can also see it on Olufemi Abraham Facebook. And you can go to Gloria Fulasha YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. God bless you as you listen, as you read along, and as you watch. I saw a man dressed in rags standing at the edge of a cliff. He had a book in his hand and a great burden on his back. He opened the book and as he read out of it, he wept and trembled. He was suffering from inner turmoil because of a burden laid heavily upon him. What shall I do? This is a city of destruction. What shall I do at home? He says. What shall I do? Dad, a Satan will not be born. Even never will it be born. <coughs> Madman, crazy man is going and redoing. I'm crazy man. Maybe you should go and sleep. Madman, crazy man. <coughs> Life, life, eternal life. Dad! Life, life, eternal life. I must leave the city of destruction. Hear me, I must leave the city of destruction. There appears obstinate and pliable his friends. You want to leave your friends and, and, and leave your lost race behind you? Stop! Please listen to me! Please listen to me! Everything in the city combined is not worthy to be compared with eternal life. This crazy fool gives up everything good in life to look for something they can't see. <sighs> Let's turn back and go home without him. Let's go! Hey! If what Christian is saying is true, my heart is inclined to go with him. Oh, the shit. Many fools still. You will accompany him to death. Get out of here. Christian, I believe you. Let's go together. What's that on your back? It's the burden of sin. Burden of sin? And what's its eternal life? After obstinate had gone back, Christian and Pliable went over the plain. Christian read his book. Heaven waits for us. Heaven waits for us. We are to be given everlasting life. So we may live there forever. We will have crowns of glory and clothes that shine like the sun. There will be no more crying or sadness. The Lord God of heaven and earth will wipe away every tear from our eyes. How, how, can I, I, how can I get these things? The book says if we really want these things, if we give them to us as a gift. I'm glad to hear these things. Let's walk faster. Let's walk faster. Christian, let's go faster. I can't faster. go as fast as I would like because of this burden on my back. There was a very muddy swamp in the middle of the plain. Both of them suddenly fell in the fog. for a while and became covered with mud. 
Kristen! Where are we now? Where are we now? I don't know! Because of the burden on his back, Kristen began to sink in the mud. Is this happiness you have been telling me about all this time? Now, I don't want this. I should have listened. I should have. I should have listened to obstinate. I will not go with you anymore. D don't leave me. The burden on my back is. is, is very happy. Please, pull me out. Please, help me. Help me. Nonsense. Help yourself. Help yourself. Oh. Will I die here? Will I? He continued to fight but could not get out because of the burden on his back. Suddenly, Help offer a hand and pull him out. Help showed Kristen the solid rocks under the mud. Stand on the solid ground. Thank you. My name is Help. I always help people get out of the swamp. Ah, ah, why is it? Why is it that? This piece of ground has not been repaired. Why is it? Why? It's the rocks that all this come and fields of sin run into. When someone realizes they are a sinner, bad feelings from their sin flow together and settle there. This muddy swamp cannot be mended. It is a swamp of sins. Short Christian, the solid rocks under the mud. Why is that? They had the best materials to use to get out of this place. Why is, why is that? It is not our Lord's will that this grant should remain bad. He has given instructions, his word, about how to overcome even this. The ground is good once you have gone through the gate. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Kristen continued his journey with the body on his back. Encounter with neighbors. Obstinate, a, clo a stubborn, close minded man who would have nothing to do with the gospel and pliable, a man easily led by those of a strong character. He is pushed about by everyone. He, does, you know, he doesn't have a mind of his own. Christian took their scorn as an opportunity to share the lies he had, he had been given. He did not run from the world. He is not afraid that he will be laughed at. Instead, he invited obstinate and pliable to go along with him. We must pray that the Lord will give us love that Christian had for his neighbors. Forsaken by pliable. Pliable is a era and not a doer. He is concerned over the talk of a coming destruction and is delighted with the delight written in Christian's book. But he is also unwilling to face suffering, obedience, and struggle that must come before glory. He will not sit down and think, should I suffer? I will, am, will I going to, am I going to suffer? Am I going to be obedient? Am I going to struggle? God is then faithful to send help to his aid, to his head. Some have identified help as another minister like evangelist. Alexander White calls him simply another preacher, another pastor, or another ev evangelist. Spurgeon says he is a brother who has the gift of helps. It seems clear. However, that Buyan refers yet to the work of the Holy Spirit is the work of the Holy Spirit. This idea must have been taken from the scripture as David Christ the Lord in Psalm 40, verse 1 to 3. And funny enough, 
this is where my parents found my name. New song, hip hop. New song. Let's read together in Psalm chapter 40, verse 1 to 3. I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and he heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and he set my feet upon a rock and established my step, my, my steps. And he pulls a new song in my mouth, even praises unto our God. Many shall see it and fear, and shall trust in the Lord. Yea, it is the Lord, it is the Lord Himself who lifts David out of the horrible pit. He set his feet upon a rock and establishes his steps. The Bible says, But when the helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of you. Jump to the 15, verse 26. Our effort can never make us right before God. He alone can lift us up and save us. Oh.